and welcome to NFL News Update, where touchdowns meet headlines. Stay in the game with the freshest NFL updates. This is your quick dive into football fervor. Bengals to use franchise tag on WRT Higgins. The Bengals are keeping one of Joe Burrow's favorite targets in Cincy for the 2024 season. Cincinnati plans to use the franchise tag on star wide receiver T. Higgins, NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport reported on Friday, per sources. Higgins' franchise tag number is expected to be around $21.8 million, fully guaranteed, Rappaport added. Higgins became the first franchise tag player this offseason. The Bengals and Higgins have until March 5's franchise tag deadline to get a long-term deal done. With core players dealing with injuries during the 2023 season, Higgins proved to be a reliable option for whoever was under center for the Bengals in 11 games. Higgins generated 42 receptions for 656 receiving yards and five touchdowns. Higgins battled through a fractured rib, hamstring and ankle injuries this past season. The 2020 second-round pick has proven to be a reliable target for Burrow in his first four seasons. With three-time pro bowler Jamar Chase lined up on the other side, the trio has showcased how lethal Cincy's offense can be when they are all out on the field. In 2021, the Bengals had a historic season. The team won the AFC North for the first time since 2015, defeated the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game, and made an appearance in Super Bowl LVI. Unfortunately, the Bengals came up short in the final minutes of the game to the Rams, but displayed how well they had drafted young pieces like Burrow, Chase, Joe Mixon, and Higgins. Even though the season did not go how the Bengals wanted it to go, since he finished fourth in the division with a 9-8 record. Head coach Zach Taylor had his third straight season above the 500 mark despite injuries to key contributors on offense. Burrow was ruled out due to a torn ligament in right wrist in November. Jake Browning finished the rest of the season going 4-3 as a starter. With Browning as the starter, Higgins recorded a season-high 140 receiving yards against the Steelers in Week 16. At the end of January, Bengals Director of Player Personnel Duke Tobin said he wanted Higgins back, and now Cincy is one step closer to having its young talented core intact for the upcoming season. Now Higgins and Tobin aim to reach a mutually agreeable number that works for both sides. Dolphins expected to release veteran CB Xadian Howard. Miami parts ways with pass rusher Emmanuel Ogba. The Miami Dolphins' march to get below the salary cap will begin by jettisoning two veteran presences on their defense. The Dolphins will release four-time Pro Bowl cornerback Savian Howard at the start of the new league year on March 13. AFL Network insider Mike Garofolo and Good Morning Football's Peter Schrader reported on Friday. Miami also released edge rusher Emmanuel Ogba on Friday, the team announced. Howard, who has spent the entirety of his eight-year career in Miami, has been a mainstay for the Dolphins' defense throughout his tenure as one of the league's top cornerbacks. His player, however, seemed to dip in 2023 as he failed to make the Pro Bowl for the first time since the 2019 season, after recording 10 interceptions in 2020 and five more in 2021. Howard recorded one in 2022 and just one this past season. Designating Howard as a post-June 1 would save the Finns a whopping $18.5 million in 2024. Garofolo and Schrader reported that Howard, who will turn 31 in July, is expected to have significant interest once he hits the market. Ogba inked a four-year, $65 million contract in 2021 after back-to-back nine-sack seasons in Miami. At the time, he was one of the more underrated edge players in the league always seeming to be Johnny on the spot. However, in the past two seasons, he's dealt with injuries and his play has fallen off. In 2022, Ogba generated one sack in nine games. Last season, he earned just 5.5 QB takedowns in 15 games. With no guaranteed money left on his deal and a $17.708 million cap hit, the salary simply didn't fit the production for the 30-year-old. After releasing Ogba, Miami will save $13.7 million on the cap with $4 million in dead money. Howard and Ogba were clear-cut candidates for the Dolphins, 
who remain well above the salary cap, even with Friday's news that the 2024 cap came in above projections. The Dolphins' top two linebackers, Bradley Chubb and Jalen Phillips, are both coming off season-ending injuries. Andrew Van Ginkle, also injured last season, is set to become a free agent.